In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the speech bubble made in a previous tutorial to make animations to make the bubbles appear and disappear. I've set up a simple scene to show how you can use speech bubbles. You can download the scene from my website or you can set one up of your own. First thing I'm going to do is import the speech bubble I made in a previous tutorial. I'm going to file append go to the folder where the speech bubble is saved, select the file. In selecting it, you go into the file, go into the object folder, select the bubble, hold down shift and select the text and link append. You see the speech bubble in the top view. We need to rotate it in the right view. So in the right view, press R to rotate and I'm going to enter minus 90. In the front view, I'm going to press G to grab to position speech bubble and in the right view I'm going to move it forward a bit. In the view menu toggle out of quad view, pan hold down shift and drag with the middle mouse button and zoom in on the speech bubble. Select the text and to edit it go into edit mode. The tab key toggles between edit mode and object mode so edit the text and hit the tab key, press G to grab and center the text. Now I don't know any way of keyframing changing text so I'm going to have to create a series of speech bubbles. With the text selected hold down shift and select the bubble. Shift and D to duplicate and enter. I'm going to call the duplicate bubble Spock bubble 2. I'm going to select the original bubble in the outliner window and name that Spock Bubble 1. I want to hide Spock Bubble 1 and ideally we would keyframe the show hide icon and you can do this, you can insert a keyframe and it works in the 3D view but unfortunately it doesn't work when you render the animation. So I'm going to hide Spot Bubble 1 by setting its X scale and its Y scale to 0. Now we must be looking at Spot Bubble 2, so I'm going to edit the text, tab to go into edit mode, type in the new text, enter for a new line, tab to go into object mode, G to grab to place the text, and to hide the speech bubble, select the bubble and set its X and Y scale to zero. To set up the animation, I'm going to change the layout from default to animation. Now I use this file to create actions so the layout has been modified. I'm going to drag on the diagonal lines to open a new window. I want the top window to be a dope sheet in action editor mode. I want this window to be an NLA editor window. I'm going to select the Spock armature and click on the browse action button and select the wave action. I'm going to click the snowflake button to convert the action into an action strip. Zooming back with the mouse wheel and panning shift and middle mouse button. I'm going to drag on the wave action to move it down the timeline so that it starts at about frame 20. I'm going to set the total length of the animation to 250 frames and I want to be in frame 1. I'm zooming back with the mouse wheel in the 3D view and in the outliner window I'm going to select Spock Bubble 2. Go to the object properties. Now I have to set a keyframe for scale at 0. So right click and insert keyframes and if we want speech bubbles to appear we have to have them keyframed with the scale 0. Now I'm going to go to frame, frame 20, make change, I'm going to change the scale to 1, the X and the Y scale and insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframes. Now if I rewind and play the scale goes from 0 to 1. 
Blender interpolates the bubble scaling from 0 to 1, but I want the bubble to suddenly appear. So I'm going to go into the key menu, interpolation mode, and set it at constant. I'm going to go to frame 60. I'm going to make change, set the scale back to 0 for the X and Y values. And right click and insert keyframes. Now when I rewind and play, the bubble suddenly appears and suddenly disappears. To make the second speech bubble appear and disappear, in the outliner window select Spot Bubble 2. Go to frame 70. Make change, set the X scale and the Y scale to 1. And insert keyframe, right click, insert keyframes. Go to frame 110. Make change, set the scale back to 0 for X and Y. Insert keyframes, right click, insert keyframes. Don't forget in the key menu to set the interpolation mode to constant. Now if we rewind and play, Spot says hi, and then he says live long and prosper. I'll end the tutorial there. I'll put the start and end files to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.